Hey there guys, so today we're taking a look at Fallout 76 running on the 1135G7 and now this is at the lowest possible settings at 1080p and uh, the performance is not great. Now the sound did not capture for some reason, I don't know why, but it just didn't. But you'll see that the performance at 1080p is just not great at all. Those 1% lows are awful. Those frame times are just insanely bad. The game is just practically running in slow motion. It's just brutal to play like this. It is not a good experience. So 1080p is already out of the question. Really now the question is if 720p can get the job done. So let's just jump to that quickly because 1080p is completely out of the question. So here we are in 720p and you'll see that the performance is a lot more consistent and completely playable compared to 1080p. 1080p was just not playable at all. You can get away with playing like this, especially if you lock that frame rate to 30. You'll have a way more consistent experience. You'll see that the FPS is struggling to really get anything significantly above 30 anyway. So a locked 30 is going to give you more consistent frame times and you'll have a better experience that way. Especially because this is one of those games that you can actually play with a controller. And with a controller, 30 frames per second is just a lot more forgivable. And you can just get away with that if you really want to play this game. Personally, this is still at the range where I just would not play this. But if this is one of those games that you really want to play, you can get away with it on this chip. I was hoping that we'd be able to just squeeze a little bit towards you know 60 and you'll see that the frame rate does kind of almost touch 60 here and there but you're pretty much just looking at a corner where nothing is being rendered especially when you're out in like more open areas the frame rate just really tanks because there's just so much going on so it's not going to be the greatest experience and i think 30 frames per second locked is just going to give you the best experience in this just because you're not going to have those big frame jumps and then drops because this chip does not support you know uh, like free sync or anything like that or at least it's not something that like the laptop itself has enabled on it so you're going to notice these big jumps everywhere so having a more consistent frame rate of 30 even if it's like capable of going a little higher than that is just not like worth it just keeping that consistent 30 will give you a much better experience.